Right, fire pupils, uh, introduction to a new topic called recurrent relations. Recurrent relations is a topic on sequences, and in particular, it's a sequence that is defined using the previous term. Okay, so there's a wee bit of flexibility in these sequences. Uh, we'll look at the terminology to begin with. So what we use to describe our sequences is subscripts. Okay, so we talk about u0 as the starting value of the sequence. Okay, that can change depending uh, on every single question. Uh, and then, therefore, the, the next term would be the first term, u1, the following term, u2, etc., etc. To general, generalise that sequence, we talk about un being the nth term, whatever that may be. And the term after that would be un plus 1. Okay, that allows us to generalise the sequence completely. Okay, it's not doesn't mean it's restricted to a particular part within the sequence. Okay, we're going to look at a very, very simple sequence so you can actually see how it works. So un plus 1 is equal to un plus 5. Okay, so we talk about the next term in the sequence is equal to the previous term plus 5. Okay, and you can imagine that depending what that previous term is, the sequence will change depending on that value. Okay, so let's look at u naught being 20. So if we just look at the, the sequence, how it's going to look, if u naught is equal to 20, then I can look at a sequence and say, well, if I take my next value is, if I know my next value is 25, then I can say 25 is equal to 20 plus 5. I would agree with that. My next term I know is 30, according to my wee list. So that's 25 plus 5. And this we continue on for the 35 and 44, etc, etc. Okay? If we're not given the list, then the idea is to be able to find each of the values progressively within our sequence. Okay, let's look at a wee example. And this example is deliberately similar to something that you would have found in National 5. Okay, a paint increases by 4% in value per year. Its original value is 10,000. State the current relation for the value of the painting after N years. Okay. So in part A... Is something new, so the fact that it's asking for a current relation. So if it's after n years, we want to know our un plus one, and if it increases in value by four percent, we have. 100%, going up in 4% is 104%, took that as your multiplier as 1.04. So if I was to write that as our current relation, the next term in the sequence, as it increases by 4%, is 1.04 times the previous term. And in this particular case, I have a starting value, which is not always required, U0 is equal to 10,000. So that, re that recurrent relation represents the increase in the painting over time. Okay, in part B, I'm going to deliberately go to this right-hand side, and this would be how you would approach in National 5. Okay, so you would take your value to be your multiplier 1.04, whatever your length of time in, in this case it's four years, and multiply by whatever your original value is. That going into a calculator. I'll just do this as I go. To the power of four, 1.04 times the power of four, times by 10,000, 
makes my value of my painting 11698.5856 if you try that as we go which is 11698.59 okay that shouldn't be anything new to you that's some percentage work that you've done the last couple of years so how does this look when we compare it to a recurrent relation well we know you not is equal to 10,000 and we want to be able to work out our value after one year, two years, three years, and then that gets us to our fourth year. So U1, let's look at the next term in the sequence is 1.04 times the previous one. So if I'm writing my constellation for, zero, for U1, then it's 1.04 times by whatever my u naught value is, which is 1.04, in this case, times 10,000. I can just put that into my calculator. Is 10,400. Therefore, my next term in the sequence is going to be 1.04 times my previous term. And 1.04, it's jumped, times by this 10,400, and that's 10,816. Again, progressively, U3, 1.04 times my previous term, which is U2. One one two four eight point six four and U four is this one point zero four times by my previous term which is U three one one two four eight point six four. which we have what we would expect, 5856, which is 11698.59, and therefore the question asks, what is the value after four years? Value after four years is... 116.98.59. Okay, and as you can see, the two values work out. Okay, you may think that's almost like a, a longer method and it's almost a backward step, but there's a lot more flexibility in our recurrent relations as we get a wee bit more into the topic. This is just to kind of see a wee comparison what you do. Okay, you can increase. Uh, your efficiency in your recurrent relation, okay, and that's with the use of your answer key on the calculator, okay. So I'm going to do it in blue here. I'll do the best that I can to describe this. Obviously, you can't see my calculator just now. So what you must do here is on your calculator, uh, you have u naught is equal to ten thousand. Okay, so you have to press ten thousand into your calculator. I put a wee box on to show it's that's the number that you're putting in, and then press equals, and that gets you a U naught value. To get you U one, that. 10,000 is now stored in your calculator as your answer. Okay, because you've pressed equals. So I now have 10,000 equals into my calculator. 
in the sharp calculators that we traditionally use within the department, uh, it is you're looking for the answer button, which is above the equals at the bottom. That will change the pending in your calculator. And what I can now see is whatever my answer is, in this case, my calculator is representing that as 10,000 multiplied by 1.04. Equals. So, answer times by 1.04, and as soon as I press equals, I get my value of 10400. I've now set up my calculator to give me a value of whatever's on my screen multiplied by 1.04. So all I have to do now to get U2 is press the equals button. And if I press the equals button, it automatically does 1.04 times by whatever's on my screen. And I get 10, 8, 1, 6. To get my U3 value, again, all I have to write, sorry, all I have to type into my calculator is an equals. And I get 1124.8.64. I'm just comparing as I go every time. And to get my U4 value, Again, the only button I need to press in my calculator is equals because it's set up to work out 1.04 of whatever's on the screen. And that gets me 11698.5856, which is 11698.59. Okay, so that's a very, very quick way using your calculator. And it just means once you do your original setup up here, then you're only pressing the equal button all the time. That gives you a wee bit more flexibility to be able to spot patterns within your your uh, your sequence, and it allows you to tailor some of your answers that wouldn't be possible in this particular example. Okay, so we introduction to the notation and exactly what a constellation looks like.